what we're seeing in these disks are baby planets because they're still in the planet formation stages. They have the potential to accrete more gas from the disk in which they're forming. So they're maybe not even baby planets, they're planet fetuses, planet embryos, because they're still grow growing and maybe they're born when the, the gas disk finally dissipates. My area of research is in exoplanets, planets like our own, except around other stars. I'm primarily interested in both how planets form, but also I do some observations of exoplanets, partly to help discover new planets and also to characterize them. These protoplanetary disks I study have typically been imaged by other people. They've been observed with the Hubble Space Telescope, ALMA, my research is mainly on interpreting those images in terms of simulations and models. One aspect of it is learning about the mass of planets that are forming. And then I'm interested in the disks themselves because what the disks are made of is going to affect what the eventual composition of the planet is going to be. We can look for the fingerprint of materials like carbon dioxide and water and ammonia and look at the composition of these disks. The work my students are doing at Red Buttes Observatory, it's part of my collaboration with the larger KELT collaboration. So KELT stands for the Kilo Degree Extremely Little Telescope. And their mission is to discover new exoplanets. We're helping by contributing observations from our observatory to help confirm these exoplanets and help learn a little bit more about their characteristics. The transit method is one way of discovering exoplanets. Maybe you get lucky and the planet is going around like this, and the planet actually goes in front of the star every time it makes an orbit. And when it does that, we can't see the planet. They're much too small to see, but we can see that the brightness of the star dips ever so slightly, and we can measure that with quite good accuracy. One of the biggest goals in exoplanet science, and I'd say NASA in general, one of its major goals is the search for habitable worlds outside our own solar system. A lot of the difficulty is technological. Being able to image a planet that's in a habitable zone, that's small and rocky, that's a very difficult task. If missions to, to carry out that were properly funded, I think we could discover life within my own lifetime. <laughs>